Jeroen Kempstra. Remarkable season, it's fair to say. And yesterday was one of those rare moments, a bit of a flashback to 2017 where you knew that Kempstra was capable of an error. This year he's been much more proficient. Out on course, he is behind Kratohofer here. Well, that's a surprise. He was half a second up. Jeroen Kampster. Not at the races yesterday. He took that one very low on the helmet. I'm not surprised that hasn't him in the neck. He's a big, tough kid. He's Jeroen Kampster. Can he find speed at the bottom? 149.85. It's going to be tight. It's going to be Kampschler's. Two tenths of a second. Talk about digging deep. There's the smile we're getting used to. Uh, thank you very much, Alan. Here with your own Kampschler. You wrote another victory. This one was mighty, mighty close, though. Did you have any idea as you made it down just how close it would be? Nope, I had no idea. <laughs> no, that's competition, man. I like it. Yeah. I mean, Marcus uh, had a great great run, obviously. He was faster than me this run. But, uh, yeah, I, I think it was a little... I was a little cautious after yesterday. And uh, I didn't really want to lose any more points. And, uh, yeah, well, I skied fine. I mean, I could... I could have maybe gone faster, but I just didn't want to take a risk. And in terms of how you're approaching this competition, I know now it's it's not necessarily about medals for you. It's it's about those globes. It's about those points. Uh, let, let us know how you're looking at it now as you head into Morzine. Um, well, it's very close between Jasper and me uh, with the overall globe, and uh, that's why I, that's why I really wanted to win this one because yesterday I lost 100 points because uh, my DNF and. Uh, I just gotta try my best. It's it's all depending on us now. So uh, if I ski well, we'll see what he does. I'm not gonna let myself uh, be under pressure because of all the things outside. I'm just gonna um, focus on my skiing and try to be the best. And just before we leave Lamelino, I want to give the final word to you. How much have you enjoyed this place? We've been here a week. We've experienced what us Northern Europeans would call summer, yeah. and um, and yeah, the, it's it's been seemingly a really enjoyable event. Well, the 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 conditions were like. Um, you know, it's it's so weird because in the morning it's super icy and then now it's really slushy. So um, it's uh, it's it's adapting to different situations again. And um, yeah, I mean that's also what what makes you a good skier. I think if you can adapt to the conditions and um, yeah, well, it's super sunny here as well that makes it good. But uh, at the start it was really hot. I have a headache a bit, so I'm gonna drink some water. Yeah, man. Sounds like a plan. We can't wait to watch you in more senior and congratulations on another win. Thank you. And for the final time here from the finish line, it's over to you. True words of an athlete. I'm going to drink some water, not a single mention of anything stronger. Well, Jeroen Kampschler crosses the line in front. That really is a mouth-watering thought process for us to have. The men's sit-ski event will be phenomenal. The hunt for the overall globe between Pedersen and Kampfler could be a remarkable finish to the season. We've had some fantastic performances here in La Molina. Spain has treated us to truly Spanish weather. The slopes, well, they had to work hard, but they were magical all the way through. The athletes have enjoyed it. We hope you've enjoyed it. We go one more time. Next time you see us, we'll be in Morzine in France for the World Cup finals. Join us on Tuesday. But from here from La Molina, from all of us, goodbye.